in this video we are going to discuss about address range for different classes and addresses you can see here that in a binary address the first 5 bits or the octets dot decimal dotted value here shows the class of the address so how they are divided you can see class a b c d e are given here and the first by 5 bits in the binary are also given which gives the first octet range you can see of the class a here it's a fixed value zero is a fixed value for the uh, first bit in the class a so that it gives the octet range from 0 to 127 but it is actually from 1 to 126 because here 0 and 127 are already reserved so coming to class b the first bit in the octet is a fixed value which is given 1 so as we saw from first the eight parts 128 64 32 16 8 4 2 and 1 so here the first bit is 128 so the range starts from 128 to 191 coming to class c the first two bits in the octet are the fixed value given as 1 so we have to count 128 plus 64 which gives you 192 to 223 coming to class d the first three bits in the octet should be 1 so here 128 plus 64 plus 32 gives you 224 to 239 range of the octet you can see here class e is the four bits given as 1 so it starts from 242 254 so these are the octets range so coming we will be discussing this clearly here you can see the first few bits in each class are having a fixed value example of class a should have first bit set to 0 and class c should have first two bits set to 1 and the third bit set to 0 so this is already a fixed value given to the first bits in the octets class of addresses and their addresses range is very important here because the classes are given uh, we have to identify the classes based on the ip addresses which are provided to us so you can this is very important here and you have to remember this range with and it will be useful to you in the future you can see examples how the ip addresses are classified here so here you see 9.140.2.87 this is class a because you see 1 to 126 is 9 coming in that first octet so that this this part is called a network 9 is called a network part and 140.2.87 is the host part because a class address class a address has network component dot host component dot host component dot host component in a format so this is the second example 172.30.4.190 this is class b because class b varies from 128 to 191 range so 172 falls under this range so 172.30 is the network component and the rest 4. 190 comes under the host part because it comes under class b which is in the format of network component dot network component dot host component dot host component format so 194.144.5.10 this is class c address because the first octet range should be between the 192 to 223 range so the first three octets comes under the network component and the last octet 10 is the host part component so you know the class c has network dot network dot network dot host components here so again you can see a best example of 45 dot 22 dot 187 dot 1 which comes under class a again because class a the range of the first octets fall under 1 to 126 so 45 a uh, first octet comes under this 1 to 126 range and this falls under the class a address so this is the format which we used to identify the classes and these are the first octet ranges here